Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a tag video. I was tagged to do the tag five luxury bags I would never buy again and why tag. Yeah, okay, so, <laughs> so I'm gonna do that tag, you guys. I've got all my bags sitting here. I'm gonna show you the bags that I have. I love them, but I wouldn't go there again. All right, before we get into the tag video, I just wanna apologize, you guys. I'm coming to you looking like a hot mess today. I'm a little bit sickly today, not terribly sick, but just a little sick. I'm in a good mood, just, just a little sick, just a little under the weather, and <laughs> So yeah, but the show must go on, right? All right, you guys, so behind me, I have a Tory Burch gold metallic bag. It is gorgeous, and she is for sale, and somebody needs her for the holiday season. She kind of reminds me a bit of a cocoa handle. She's a beautiful bag. This, she has a shoulder strap on the inside of the bag. It's adjustable. If somebody wants to PayPal me, friends and family, 200 bucks, she's yours because she retailed in at $4.98. I didn't pay that much for it, but I got it on sale. 200 bucks, and she's yours. If anybody is interested in this gorgeous bag, I never carried her one time, you guys. So sad. So if somebody wants to buy her, here she is. I'm trying to tempt you. And also, I'm featuring another one of my little paintings. And this one is uh, a little snowman. It's an acrylic on panel, 50 bucks plus shipping. We'll get you this little guy. So I'm gonna start featuring some of my artwork. And this is just a cute little happy painting you could put out during the winter months. And uh, yeah, so, okay. Buy my stuff, you guys. Buy my stuff, okay? <laughs> And subscribe. I always forget to say all the YouTube -y stuff, but you guys seriously need to subscribe because I seriously need to give away that Chanel Double Facets mirror. It's just sitting there, you guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, I promise we're getting into the video. Okay, so in no particular order. Okay, wait. I'm one short. I'll be right back. I'm back. All right. Two are the same. Okay. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh, okay. Now, I have these beautiful bags sitting on my desk. I absolutely love them, but I wouldn't repurchase them, and I will tell you why. And the very first one that I want to talk about is my Capucines PM. She's in this beautiful kind of a dusty rose. She is uh, oh so beautiful you guys. I got this bag in Ireland. A wonderful memory. Keith bought this bag for me and I chose it over kind of a metallic cocoa handle. I had a hard time choosing but this one won out and I love it. She's not going anywhere. I do love her. <laughs> I do. But you guys know that I also have a Capucines in the BB size. And I love the BB size even more. But this is a great bag, you guys. It's kind of like a fancy tote. That's how I describe this bag. A fancy tote. And I have the Samorga organizers on the inside, and she has the adjustable strap. And I've carried this bag actually more than the red one. I don't know why, but this is more of an everyday bag, even though she's kind of dressy and I go around dressed like I am now. I still, I still rock her with whatever I'm wearing. She's beautiful. I just prefer the smaller size, but that's not the only reason that I would never buy this bag again, because this bag is so expensive, it is bordering on ridiculous. The price of this bag in the boutique. I got it in Ireland at a good exchange rate, and then, you know, we got our VAT back and all like that. So I got a great deal on this bag. I love her, and she loves me. 
Don't you? We're like peas and carrots, you guys. But if I ever got another cap of scenes, and I've always said that I would love to have a black cap of scenes, and I do. I want a black cap of scenes. But I guess if I were getting if I were gonna go there, unless I found just a great deal, I would probably go with a black, a small black cocoa handle. You guys, and one of these days, I'm gonna do those comparisons. If Winnie B. L. V. and Autumn Beckman would leave me alone without with all these collabs, I would have already done those videos, but they bother me all the time, especially Autumn. And, uh, but anyway, let's not get off track, you guys. It's the price and I just prefer the smaller one better. I love her, but I would not repurchase this bag. The next bag that I would never buy again, never, never, never. Now I love these bags and yes, they're forever bags. I just can't, I just can't see myself ever parting with them and they are my artsies. Wow, they're big. These are some big bags. These are some big ones. That's what she said. He said. Somebody said it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now, I used to have three of these. I used to have a raisin color one, and I traded it in, actually, for the red cap scenes, but that's another story. That's another video. I've already talked about that. Okay. All right, you guys. So, this beautiful Empreinte Artsy, my husband came back from Orlando, he went for a trade show and he picked this up for me. And I love this on this bag. And I don't normally really do that, but I just think it's really pretty. And she's my black beauty. She is gorgeous. She's a queen, you guys. And everything about her I love. And I do pull her out. Now I do tend to use her more in the winter time, fall and winter. I haven't used her, I think I've used her like once this whole year because well, she's not super heavy, but she's kind of heavy, but really what it is, she's bulky. <laughs> but I consider it carry on. Okay. okay. She's bulky, but I consider it carry on. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. But she is bulky. I mean, look at that base. Look at that base on this bag. And I have no corner wear because that is how careful I have been with my artsy bag and I just love it it's so gorgeous and I would never get rid of it because I would never get another one again and I would never repurchase her but I'm really glad that I have her she's just absolutely breathtaking she is definitely a black beauty and I love her okay and so this one this one is the first one that I ever purchased out of the three that I that I've had and I love it. And you guys, don't be afraid of azure. Look at this bag. I have had this bag probably eight or nine years. I don't know, when they first came out. How long ago has that been? I have no clue, but look at it. Okay, I do spray it with Apple Guard. I spray all of my canvas bags with Apple Guard. Nothing, nothing. I have it never. Never, never had anything on it. There are no marks on it. There is no corner wear. And I did carry this bag several times this year. You guys, there was a point, two different times I almost got rid of it. One time I did, I gave it to my daughter and she never carried it. I think she carried it once and she just didn't like it. So she just gave it back to me and I thought, well, I'll just sell it. And I was gonna sell it to one of my really good friends and subscribers. Hey girl, you know who you are. Uh, and I panicked. You guys, she had sent me some money and I panicked and I messaged her and I was like, I think I want to keep it. So I sent her money back and I still have my bag and this is the old style. It's the beautiful honey pochetta. I love it like this, you guys. And I do spray it maybe once a year. I've never had an issue. Never. Don't be afraid of azure. Look at it. And this bag has been just banged around. My daughter had it. Maybe she did carry it a time or two. Yes, yeah, she did, because when I got it back, I had a lot of coins in the bottom of it. <laughs> She's not as meticulous as I am, but the inside is gorgeous. I love it, and I love it because it's the old style, not the new style. I don't love that new style. 
So these two bags are forever bags. I did find a Fachetta strap. Yeah, it was from Dress Up Your Purse. <laughs> you guys, they have great, anything you would ever want, dress up your purse, okay? So I have a brand new code, so you guys use my code and buy yourself some stuff to dress up your bag. Well, I can wear her as a shoulder bag. I'm pretty stoked about it. And yes, she's lightweight because, well not super lightweight, but she's pretty lightweight, lighter than the other. And I do, I did carry her quite a few times this summer. So anyway, bam, this is bag, bags number two. All right, I almost slid out of my chair. <laughs> okay. Bag number three that I would never buy again is the medium size Chanel Coco handle. Now I love this bag. I do. I love her. I don't know about this lizard handle, you guys. This freaks me out just a bit. <laughs> but I have three Coco handles. Two of them are small. And I have this one and I love it. But I'm considering selling this one. Not because I don't love her. Just because I like the smaller ones better and I would love to, actually I would love to replace her and get a black Coco handle in a small size. If anybody has one out there and you want to trade and it's in excellent condition, <laughs> or if anybody wants to buy this, message me. But she's in excellent condition. She's got beautiful gold hardware, and it's just me, you guys. I'm just not into snake print or anything like that. I mean, it does bother me a little, but I love her. She's beautiful. I've carried her a lot. She's in immaculate condition. She has the strap, but I just prefer the smaller Coco handles. This is about the same size as the Capucines PM that I showed you, and I'll just show you side by side so you can see them for yourself but I just prefer the smaller size cocoa handle and I love a cocoa handle so if this were a small I would keep her but I'm seriously considering selling her and replacing her with a smaller one okay so here they are side by side this is the Chanel medium size and see they're about the same size and yeah, they're really close to the same size. Let me give it an Autumn Beckman spin, an Autumn Beckman shuffle, an Autumn Beckman swirl. <laughs> she needs to patent that. But you see, they're about the same size, just as the small Coco handle and the Capucines BB, they are the same size. And one of these days, I'm going to do that video. But I just wanted to grab it and show you. Okay. Beautiful size bags. I just prefer the smaller versions. Now, bag number four that I would never buy again. Bam. Okay. Not this particular one. But what I mean is it's the only one I have. And it's a bit different than the regular ones. Tell them what it is. The... <laughs> The bandolier, the speedy bandolier in any size. I don't like the speedy bandolier. The speedy bandolier is what turned me against the speedy, okay? Because I had that bag. Now this is a speedy bandolier, but this is a much different version. As a matter of fact, it has the zipper that comes down the side, just like the speedy 20. And I love this bag. It's different because it has pockets. I told you guys a story about this bag. I got her the day that she de debuted in New York City. She was in a glass case. I saw her and it was love at first sight and I haven't carried her that much. I mean, I've carried her. I didn't carry her that much in the beginning. I do carry her and I do, she's past due, okay? I do love her. <laughs> and this is one of two Louis Vuitton charms that I've ever purchased, you guys. I purchased it specifically for this bag. I'm weird like that. When I purchase a bag charm, which I'm not a big bag charm person, but I purchased them for a specific bag. And this has always belonged to this bag. But anyway, I would never. I had a monogram Speedy Bandolier. I do not like the Speedy Bandolier. I don't think the Speedy... 
needs a strap. I think the Speedy is a classic handheld bag, and you guys know I have those, but I just brought this in here because it's the closest thing that I have to a Speedy Bandolier because it does have the strap, and sometimes I use the strap with this bag, but it's annoying. So, see, it has a strap, an adjustable strap, I might add. And this is a beautiful color, but I do not and would not, she won't, she can't, she will never purchase another Speedy Bandolier. This one is in my collection to stay, and you guys know I have other Speedies in the 25 size, which is my favorite, but they're the classic Speedies. That's the way I feel like a Speedy was meant to be carried, handheld. It's just... I, it just it's a feeling you guys I love the classic speedies and this is the closest thing that I do have to a bandolier but I would never again buy a speedy bandolier not gonna happen the last bag that I would never buy again is this one here now I don't mean I would never buy another Birkin I would and you guys I told you I'm more of a Chanel girl I have figured that out for myself I love this bag. I am so happy. This bag is not going anywhere. I will not sell her. I, I am so happy that I have her in black with the palladium hardware. She has the perfect amount of veining. I don't know if it's showing up, but it's not too much. This is a beauty. This is another black beauty. I absolutely adore her. She's heavy. She is heavy. Ooh, I mean... I don't overpack her when I do use her and I've used her a lot this summer you guys I was really surprised how much that I did grab for her but if I ever got another Birkin and I don't really care if I ever do or not honestly I don't I mean if I do I do and if I don't I don't that's so profound it would be a size 30 I would never buy a 25 because I'm not gonna have a closet full of Birkins that's just not I don't have that desire, but I would love to have a size 30, and I'm so thrilled that I have this one, and if I ever get a size 30, I would hope that it would be gold or, I don't know what color, probably gold. I'm thrilled that I have this beautiful Birkin, you guys. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's kind of like a Neverfull, only heavier. <laughs> But I love it, you guys. I used it a lot this summer. I was doing a lot of errands, running around, and this is just a great bag, and I don't mind at all, you know, like this. I don't mind at all. It, it did not bother me, but, you know, just to pick it up like this, I'm thinking, wow, this is pretty heavy. But anyway, am I making any sense? I just want to say I would never buy another Hermes Birkin 35 because I have the one that I've always wanted. I always wanted the black one. I'm so happy that it's the palladium hardware because it's edgier and it goes more with my style. But if I ever get another Hermes Birkin, it would definitely be a size 30. Okay. Thumbnail. So those are all the bags that I have, already have, but I would, and I love them, but I would never purchase them again. Vivian, I hope that I did your tag justice. I really appreciate you tagging me, Winnie. This was a fun video. I enjoyed doing it, and uh, yeah, I've got a few surprises for you guys up my sleeves coming very soon. I'm so excited to share with you some of the things that I have purchased recently. Yeah, you guys, I've fallen off the wagon. I've fallen off the wagon pretty hard. <laughs> but you'll just have to stay tuned. You'll just have to subscribe and you'll just have to watch my videos to see exactly how hard I have fallen, okay? All right, you guys, so have a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys again in a couple of days. Bye-bye, peace.